Welcome to this quick control tutorial. My name is Noel Gutierrez and I'm the support engineer at Quick Server Controls. In this video, I'll cover how to configure a Quick Controls communication port, how to initialize a controller, and how to jog a motor. It's presumed that only one controller is connected to the serial port. We'll first start off by configuring a communication port in Quick Control. To do that, we go to the Setup menu, COM port. We'll click Modify and click the communication port drop down and we'll go ahead and select our communication port. My communication port is uh, configured for COM4, so I'll select COM4. The baud rate, I'll select our default baud rate, which is 57.6K. And the protocol, I'll select that to the our default protocol, which is 8-bit ASCII, two-step bit, no parity. So we'll go ahead and click OK and OK. And uh, we'll go ahead and leave the enable checked and then OK. And then the status log will get, we have a message saying that, that the communication port has been set up. So now we'll go to tools, unknown device wizard. We're prompted to turn the device off. So we'll go ahead and power down the device. Then click next. Now we're prompted to turn the device on. So we'll go ahead and power on. As we power on, the red communication LED on the controller should be flashing at a, f a fast rate. Uh, if it's not flashing, check that you selected the correct communication port and that uh, double check your communication wiring. If the Redcom uh, LED is flashing, go ahead and click next. Select your serial interface. Uh, my serial interface here is selected for 232. So go ahead and click next. Now the device is set up for 8-bit ASCII and RS-232, so go ahead and click finish. So now Quick Control adds a device with a unit ID of 16. Now the next step is to initialize the controller. So we'll go, we go to Tools, Initialization Wizard. We get the Initialization Wizard window. The Initialization Wizard window opens the factory default initialization file, which includes uh, communication parameters, motor parameters, uh, torque limits, error limits, and most of these parameters can be modified here or in the user program. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll just leave it um, as is. In the initialization wizard, we then enter the motor cable length. Uh, knowing the length of the motor cable, the controller can then compensate for the voltage drop ac uh, across the motor cable. I have a 10 foot motor cable, so I'll enter 10 feet. If you're using a Quicksilver cable, the length of the cable is the last two part, the last two digits in the part number. So I'll go ahead and click file, download file to device. So then the controller will detect driver voltage, it will det uh, detect the motor type, and based on those two parameters, it'll then configure itself. Now we have a message saying that the initialization file has been downloaded, so we'll go ahead and click OK. And the wizard, uh, the initialization wizard, we no longer need, so we'll go ahead and close that with file close. So now the, the controller and motor have been uh, initialized. So to confirm that, we'll go ahead and jog the motor. To do that, we go to Tools, Control Panel. We can jog the motor back and forth by clicking and dragging this purple slider up and down. And as we drag the motor, you will notice here in the lower left hand corner of the control panel under the device status, the target position, the actual position, velocity, our current position error, our max error since it was last cleared, the torque and percentage, the driver voltage, and the temperature. We'll go ahead and zero the device. And I'll go ahead and try it one more time. And I'll go ahead and zero. We can also test a move command by selecting one of these four uh, move uh, types. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll select the uh, MRT, which is a move uh, relative based, uh, time based command. So I'll give it a distance of 8,000 counts ram time of 100 milliseconds and a total time of 1000 milliseconds. So clicking uh, clicking the test move one button will command the motor to move 8000 counts in one second. 
as you can see, the target position is 8,000. The actual position is 8,003. Uh, there is a position error of uh, uh, three counts. Now, the position error of three counts is due to our anti-hunt feature that uh, prevents the motor from dithering or hunting to its exact position as long as the position error is uh, small and within uh, error limits. Now, uh, given a motion of a negative 8,000 counts, the motor moves back to its initial position of zero. This concludes the quick control tutorial. Uh, for questions or comments, email us at support at quickservercontrols.com and visit us at quickservercontrols.com for more information.